hello everyone welcome to my channel thank you so much for joining me this week and if you're new here you're very much welcome please hit the subscribe button and if you've been with me thank you very much my name is dr saki oga i'll be talking about how to accurately calculate your menstrual cycle this is important for both men and women men you have sisters uh, you have female friends and you're gonna have daughters so keep watching Knowing how to calculate your menstrual cycle is important for women so you don't go around messing up yourself. You know when to expect your next menstrual period. This is important as well for sexually active women. I mean married women. So you can be in control of your body. You're going to know how to plan your family properly and also to know when you're ovulating. So you can prepare when you want to get pregnant. When calculating your menstrual period, you start from the first day of your current menstrual period to the first day of your next menstrual period and so on. It doesn't matter if you menstruate for five days. It doesn't matter if you menstruate for six days. What matters is the first day you start menstruating. You calculate from that first day to the next first day. Take for instance, you got your period on the 1st of January. And you got your next period on the 1st of February. It shows that you're a 32 day cycle and you should expect your next period on the 3rd of March. If your cycle is for 28 days and you get your period on the 1st of January, you should get your next period on the 28th of January. And you should be expecting your next period on the 24th of February. This is how to calculate your menstrual cycle accurately. By calculating your cycle, you calculate with days, not months. And some people feel that when you get your cycle on the 1st of January, you should get it on the 1st of February, get it on the 1st of March, and so on. This is wrong. Like the 28 day cycle lady we spoke about who got her period on the 1st of January. She got her next period on the 28th of January. She had her period twice in January and this is normal. So it's possible for a lady that has a shorter cycle, take for instance 23 day cycle. She could get her period twice in a longer month like January that has 31 days. And for a lady who has a longer menstrual cycle, for instance, 31 day cycle, it's possible that she won't get her period in a shorter month like February that has 28 to 29 days. I hope you understand what I'm talking about. Thank you very much for watching this week. I hope you've been able to calculate your menstrual cycle and you will know when to expect your next menstrual cycle so you don't keep guessing. You know, you start from the first day to the next first day. Thank you once again. Do have a lovely day. Thank you very much for watching today's episode. I hope you enjoyed the video. And don't forget to like, subscribe and share as you may be helping someone out there and if you need any health advice please feel free to contact me on my facebook page dr saki oga thank you very much bye